Well, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to build another uh, solar lantern. This one's going to be a hexagon uh, similar to the one we just uh, just put out. Uh, this one's going to be a little bit different. I was digging through my uh, uh, different supplies and I ran across uh, some uh, bevels. These are an uh, inch and a half by four inches. I had I happened to have six of them. So since we're going to build a hexagon, which is a six-sided uh, triangle, uh, we're going to we're going to incorporate these into the panels. We're going to use uh, three solar lights like we did in the other other video, so that'll work real well. Uh, if you haven't watched the other video, I'll go over real quick how we're going to determine how big to make these panels, and uh, it's a, it's a pretty quick, uh, simple process. So we'll move these things out of the way here so we can get over here, right there. And I'm just going to take my T-square here, and I'm going to take and just draw a line here, and I'm going to draw a line here. That gives me the center of this paper. Then I'm going to take one of my panels here. Again, these are the tops off your garden stakes. We've used these in uh, several of my other videos. So we're going to put this right in here, right against the lines, and we're going to take and we're going to draw a circle around it to simulate the solar light. And we're going to move it over here on this side and we're going to do the same thing. So we'll draw that around there like that. And then we're going to put this last one right in here. So bring it up against it. Just like that. Now from here, this is going to be our widest point right here. So we have to determine how much room we want between our, our solar lights and the edge of our panels. So uh, I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and, and put this in here about uh, oh, maybe I'm going to say a quarter of an inch away right here. And we're just going to draw a down line here and we're going to come over here about a quarter of an inch away and we'll draw another down line. And then what we're going to do, we're going to take a T-square. This one here is a 60, 30 degree, 60 degrees when it's in this position. 30 degrees when it's in this position. And since we're doing six-sided, uh, we each, each panel will have to be set on a 30 degree angle. So we're going to take our triangle here and we're going to take and we're going to set it in here and we're going to get the same approximate quarter inch here. Just want to be sure you're big enough so that when you get these panels all put together, your solar lights fit in between them. So we just make an up line here. And we're going to come down here and we're going to make another up line right here. So from here to here is going to determine how big our panels are going to be. I'll go ahead and draw the rest of this out, but right now we're just going to measure this real quick. So it determines, it says, it says they're going to be three inches. So we just come up here right to this junction right here. We'll measure three inches right here. You take and move your T-square back up, set it in here like this, up to the line. Take and turn it over. And there you go, we have our hexagon. So now we have six equal sides here. It's an easy way to do that. We don't have to do a lot of math to figure it out. And uh, when we actually get these built, We'll put these lights right out to the edge of these. So they'll be out here like this. And we'll have plenty of room for them to uh, to work around. Okay, so now the thing we're going to do, we're going to take and we're going to build a form. So we know now we want it three inches wide. The length of it, we can go ahead and uh, make it any length we want. Since, uh, since our bevel glass uh, is four, I, I would have love to have it been five but I have these so we're going to go ahead and work with this and what we'll do we'll just add when we go around with our border we'll add a little bit longer uh, top and bottom to it so that'll make that up so what this is going to look like it's going to be this will be our panel it's going to look like this we're going to have a header across here which will hide our solar light and then in here we're going to have the bevel in the middle and then we'll come across here and we'll just break this up Across here, and we'll break it up, and then we're going to put different colored glass all through here. So this will be the bevel right here. So give you a little bit of look up. So anyway, we know this is going to be three inches here. This one here, 
uh, we'll probably end up with an overall length of maybe seven and a half inches. So that's up to you. Uh, as I said in the other videos, you can fill in here with anything you want. You can put uh, uh, bevels in it. You could put uh, diamonds in it, whatever you wanted to do with it. Or you can do like we did with the other one and just fill it full of all kinds of different size glass. So anyway, we'll go offline, we'll get ready and we'll build our form three inches wide and we'll go from there. Okay, we're back. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to build our form now to make this. Uh, I'm going to use a, a carpenter square. It just looks like this. You can use any kind of a square to uh, do this. So we're going to set it right in here. Move our brads out of the way here. And we're going to come down here in the middle here. And the first thing we're going to do is going to put a down piece right here. Uh, these are the pieces I made. This is made from three quarter inch pine. I just put it on a table saw and rip out a quarter inch high. Uh, they make really nice, easy forms to work with. So I'm going to set that in here like this. I'm going to use a little inch long wire brads. As you can see I've used these boards over and over and over. And I just keep using them. Gonna set that in there. Just put about three little brads all the way along here. That'll hold it right where we want it. The reason for making the, the form is that we want it to all be exactly the same, every panel. If you free build them, if one gets bigger than the other, when you go to put it together, it's not going to line up just right. This is going to be for our header. You notice it has a notch in here. This will be where our hanger goes. We're going to make six panels. Three of them will have hangers on them. Three of them won't. So uh, we're going to just put this right in here. And we'll leave this about uh, eighth of an inch away so we have room for our hanger to go in here. We'll pull this up tight against our square. And we'll tack that down. Put one more right here. Okay. So then we make our other down piece right here. And we're going to take and we're going to make it. First of all, I better move this around. Push that down where it goes tight. Bring this down. And we're looking for three inches right here. That's almost what we want. That's a three and a sixteenth. There's our three inches right there. So we're going to hold that in there real tight. Put in our brad. Make sure this is up square against there. Up against here. Okay, so that's our form. It's three inches wide. We're going to put some U came down here, across here, and back up here. And then we're going to load this up with our project. So anyway, we'll be back in a second. I'm going to cut some U came. I'm going to need 12 pieces that are going to be about 8 inches long. I'm going to need 6 pieces that are going to be 3 inches long for the header. And then we'll come back and we'll show you how we're going to put this together. Okay, so we're back. we got all our uh, U came cut now. Here's what the U came looks like. We talked about this before. Uh, everybody's uh, been cut on a 45 degree angle. Uh, you can see it here. It's 45 right there. So they'll go into the top of our uh, header board up here. And uh, down here we've got three headers with a notch cut in them. That's going to be where our hanger goes. So there, the hanger will go inside this notch right here. And we have three without hangers. So they're just straight. So we've got our header glass already cut here. The ones that are going to go with their hangers, I've taken, I've just ground back here just a little bit here for our leg of our hanger to go in here so it'll be trapped underneath the came. So uh, you probably have seen this on my other videos, but I'll show it to you one more time. Um, this is how we're going to make a hanger. We're going to use these uh, little cotter pins right here. They're uh, 3 32nd. They're steel cotter pins. They're zinc coated. Uh, whatever you do, if you're going to try this, don't buy stainless steel cotter pins because you have a heck of a time trying to bend them. So these are three, uh, two, uh, three thirty seconds by an inch and a half. 
And to make this into a hanger, we're going to take our long nose pliers, we're going to insert it into the loop right here. And I'm going to take a small piece of tubing. This brass tubing has a 332nd hole across the uh, inside. It just slides onto one of the legs here, and we're going to pull that up to a 90 degree bin. So it's going to look just like that. We'll do the other two real quick so you can get a, a visual on this. I'll try to keep in the camera here. It's a little bit hard to, to see it. Okay, we'll, we'll try to be careful here. Slide it in here. Pull it up 90 degrees. Like that. And we'll take the third one because we're going to have three hangers. So we need three cotter pins. Okay, so we'll slide this tubing over here. You can get this little tubing at uh, hobby stores. Uh, some hardware stores have it. Uh, and you can find it uh, at a number of different places. Okay, so that's our hanger. And it's going to go into our header right here. This is our header. And it's going to sit in here like this. And the reason we ground that out is that'll make this go level across here. If we don't do that, you put it on top like this, that means this corner over here is going to be lower than where this is at, and your project will start off crooked, and as you build out, it gets worse. But there's one other thing we need to do this, to this hanger, because when it sits in here like this, you notice it's hanging over right here. It's hanging over the edge here. We need to cut that back a little because that's going to interfere with our next piece of glass that goes in here. So I just take a pair of long nose pliers. I put it in here about a quarter of an inch in. And I cut the down leg off. So just use your cutter part of your long nose pliers to do that. Okay, so now we've got our hangers. We've got our header glass. It's ground back. So we're going to take a couple down pieces here right like this. We're going to take a header piece with our notch in it and we're going to take one of these and it's going to sit right in here like this. And then from here, just turn this up. It sits inside here and you just bring this up to the 45. We're using a homozoite board so we're going to use push, push pins to, uh, to hold this all together. So this is how this is going to go. This goes right in here like that. The 45s are nice if they match nice like these do. If you're off a little bit, don't worry too much because when you solder it, that'll take care of the problem. You notice I have a line marked here. This is going to be where our header will stop. And so this is our header. When you grind this, uh, be sure when you cut it, you also allow for the fact that the cotter pin is going to push this away a little bit. So we'll just pull these pins out real quick here. And we'll just take our piece and stick it in here. Just like that. Helps if you get in here straight. There you go. All right, get that in there. And this will slide right down here. And it comes up nice and tight right against the, the uh, area that we're going to work with. This is up against the header. Here, we'll cut a piece of H came. This is the one that looks makes the letter H. We're just going to stick that in here like this. We'll take our marker and we're going to mark it right here. And we'll take our lead dikes and we're just going to cut this right here. We'll set that in on an angle. Make sure it pulls in there tight. We want to get these gaps as nice and tight as possible. So when you solder them, you'll get a nicer solder joint. Okay, from here now, we're going to fill this up. And as I said before, we're going to put uh, we're going to put it with this bevel in the center here, like this. So uh, we'll we'll cut some colored glass to go around all of this, and we'll get down to the end. Uh, so I'll go off camera and fill that up real quick. And when we get down to the end here, I'll show you what we're going to do down there. So we'll be back in a minute. All right, we're back. You see, we got it all filled in here. We just cut these pieces at random. Uh, the ones across right here, these are an inch here. These are just about. Uh, five-eighths of an inch wide and then we've got our um, one and a half by four inch bevel in here uh, since our hanger is right here we've got a leg of our hanger going back underneath here I'm going to put a little piece right here but we left this solid so I'm going to show you how we're going to do that we're going to take a piece of H came here we're coming here with our dikes and we're going to cut the heart out of it 
This is how you probably have seen me on the other videos if you've watched them, how I did that. And I just want to trim off anything that's right here. The reason we're going to do that is it strengthens that corner. And since this has six sides on it, uh, we, it's going to get a little bit heavy. So we want to be sure we've got a good, uh, strong hanger there. I'm going to set this on the edge. And we're going to push it in here. Got a little something hanging up here, right here. There it is. Get that trimmed off. Set it on the edge here and just push it in here so it's still just a little bit too long. You want this to fit tight. If you if you cut it too short and it's not quite tight enough, you can always just put a couple little dabs of uh, white glue underneath it and you glue it down and then it'll be fine. This is what you want it to do. You want it to push in there tight like that. Okay, you just want to make sure it's straight. I've got a little marks here so I know where it's straight. And if you watch, if you watch the other videos, I'm going to get ready to solder this now. Uh, I usually have a little wire brush here. It's a stainless steel brush. I'm going to hit all the little joints here. Uh, we're using our uh, Waller soldering iron. It has a 700 degree tip. We're using the 6040 solder. And uh, so that'll give us a nice smooth flow. And I usually just take and cut off some links of it uh, rather than hold the whole roll. Uh, so that works pretty nice. You notice over on this side, we've got a whole bunch of came over here cut. Since these panels are going to all be exactly the same, uh, I just cut all the came. I cut all the cross pieces here. I cut all these down pieces. I cut everything. So we can just put them together like an assembly line. And so we'll go ahead and we'll get ready to uh, solder this up. So we're going to take and brush these, these joints right here. Like I said in the earlier video, if, uh, if my bevel would have been an inch longer, these up here on top would have matched up with these, which might have been a nicer looking job, but, uh, already had these bevels and uh, they were from a previous job and so don't ever let anything go to waste so we'll just go ahead and put them in there and we'll make the length up by adding the uh, the top and bottom of it it'll give you a little bit more color when the job's done go over all your joints if you miss one it'll tell you because the solder won't flow very well so you just take your iron i'm going to just tint it here just a little bit and I'm just going to go right in here and just put it down just real soft. Usually take about a sixteenth of an inch off the end of the solder. It gives you a nice even looking bead. Like that one that kind of went back, I can go over it and just give it a little bit more. If you have one that you want to go back over, you can just touch it again. So this project actually is going to be pretty simple compared to the one we just finished because uh, it has so many more pieces in it with all the different size glasses and everything staggered all over. But uh, this would be a good one to try if you're just getting started and uh, you want to try something a little harder uh, than just, you know, maybe a three panel or, or a four panel. Uh, this one here would be a good one to try. So we're just going to go ahead and get this all soldered up here. We're going to make three exactly like this one here. Well, other than the glass will be different, but we're going to make three with the hanger and three without the hanger. And then when we get done with that, we're going to come back and we'll show you how we're going to put them all together. So there's how that looks all together. Uh, I usually just take a, uh, a little washcloth and uh, it's an old, old washcloth. I just knock off some of the flux that was on here. It's water soluble, so it'll clean up nice when, it, when we put it in our water. Uh, I use a drop of Dawn soap to a bucket of water. That works really nice, gets the glass nice and shiny. We've got a little bit of something happening right here. We'll take and hit that again, move that away. We don't want that little bub bubble right there. So we're gonna take this out now. And this is real critical that you remember this when you're gonna do this. When you turn this over, do not solder this one, this one, this one, any of these on the outside edge because the other panel is going to sit in here on an angle. 
If you have a little blob of solder right here, when you put the other panel in here, it's going to push it away and you'll end up with a gap along this area. And we don't want to, we don't want to have that. So we're going to take and uh, brush this up a little bit. All right, and we're going to take here and we'll, I'm going to leave this one open right here for a minute. I'll show you why. So I said, this is a pretty easy project because there's not a whole lot of pieces to it. And there's not anything real difficult. It's all straight cut. Okay. Okay, so we got the front side all soldered up. That looks nice. Got a little alloy right there. We'll take off. And we're going to have this side here. We're going to do a couple things to it. One, we're going to put a cleat across here. And we're also going to finish up these ends. Uh, we could just cut them off and leave them open or try to plug them up with solder. I'm going to show you how we're going to take care of that. So to put a cleat in here, and we're using the cleat. We're just using a piece of H came. We're going to use a pair of medical clamps. And I'm going to push this up here where hopefully you can see it. We're going to take and set this right in here like this. Push the clamp up on it, just like that. And we'll put a little flux here and a little flux here. And we're going to hold that right there and we'll push it down. We're going to take our solder and iron. I'll just put just a little dab of solder out here, just like that. Push this down nice and tight. Insert our iron in here and just let it flow off. And that'll solder that right on the edge there. Okay, so we're going to take that off now. And we're going to take our siren iron here. And we're going to take and we're going to just solder the rest of this back on here all the way. You could probably just tack solder this. I usually like to solder it down tight. There we go. So there's your cleat all soldered in nice and tight. Uh, these edges are a little bit sharp. I usually take and cut them on like a 45 just to get them trimmed up a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to take my towel here and just wipe that off just a little bit. Okay, now these ends, what I'm going to do here. This one here is already in good shape. This one here is a little bit long. I'm going to cut it right here. Then I'm just going to take and cut back in here. Cut this into a point. This just helps finish this end off here. Because after I get this uh, taken care of, I'm going to put this on a 80 grit sandpaper and file those sh shut. So I'm just going to take it on my workbench and I'm going to push this down in there. And what it does is it plugs up most of this gap right here. This one here is going to be just a little bit short, but we'll get it to work for us. And we'll push it down. Okay, so we're going to get ready. We're going to solder these ends up here. And we're going to solder this little spot right here and we're going to solder around our cotter, cotter pin which will support our hanger. But uh, somehow we need to hold this up because otherwise it's going to keep falling over. We don't have three hands so we're going to use a helper here. And my helper is a drill vise. I just set this in here. just tighten it up just very gently don't get too rambunctious you'll break your glass put a little flux here and here take and hold your solder here just let it flow down just like that okay so we plug those up you could probably leave them like that if you wanted to they don't look bad but we're gonna we're gonna take and finish them off and I'll show you why now we're going to set this on an angle. This 
let's move this over here just a little bit so everybody can see on a little bit of an angle I'm gonna put a little flux right here we're gonna put a little bit all the way around the whole hanger and this one here we're just gonna take and set it right here just add a little bit and then we're gonna take our siren iron we're gonna put just a little blob of solder on it right here and we're gonna hold it right against the cotter pin until it flows away just like that it kind of sweats it right in there after we get that done we're going to turn it around and we're going to do the same thing here we're going to fill this up right here just like that okay so now what i'm going to do i'm going to go offline real quick and I'm going to dress up all these edges. They'll be back. When I come back, they'll be nice and smooth. So when we get to get it on the next video, you'll see what we did with them. Okay, we're back. We went ahead and we finished up all the edges here. So now you can see they're nice and smooth. They've been rounded off and chamfered. Here's our hanger. You can see it's been soldered in here on both sides. So that's not going anywhere. So you can take a look at that. Now here's the other ends here. So we're almost done with this panel. If you have one of these little buttons like that, it's on there. Just take your dikes. I don't know if you can see this or not. There's just a little, little button right here. Just take your dikes and put it, and you can pop it right back off. So anyway, we've got our cleat to hold. This will hold our solar lights. So our solar lights are going to sit in here like this on the cleat. We'll put a little shelf on there for them to sit on. But these are single source lights. Otherwise, they point straight down. So we're going to put a bottom in this. We want we want something in here for the light to bounce back. If you don't do that, the light will go right out the bottom. It'll start off dark up here at the top, and then this will get lighter as we go down. By putting the bottom in here, it kind of illuminates the whole thing evenly. So for, for a support to hold our uh, bottom, I'm going to use this little tab right here. This little tab is made out of galvanized tin. Uh, it's about a half an inch wide by an inch long. Uh, I've roughed it up here a little bit. The galvanized sometimes a little bit hard to solder. So I've roughed that up a little bit. So what we're going to do, we're going to take our panel. We're going to set it right in here. And I'm going to take a little bit of our uh, form and I'm going to set it right against here. And I'm going to set this down in here. But before I solder it here, I'm going to mark it. So I took and marked it here. And I'm going to raise it up about an eighth of an inch. If you don't do that, remember the, the H cam we're using here is, has a round crown on it. So if you don't raise it up a little bit, uh, when you solder it, that little shelf will be sticking over the edge here and it's quite sharp. So remember to raise this up a little bit. About an eighth of an inch works nice. After you get it raised up, push back on your little form wood right here here again take your flux and you take your solder and we're going to come right in here we're just going to put a little solder on the iron i'm just going to let it just flow right in here perfect all right, so that's going to be the way the panels that we're going to make three like this. They'll, all three will have a cleat. All three will have a shelf to hold our bottom. And then the other three that we make, uh, we're going to uh, just be, it will be minus these two uh, areas. So like I said before, I cut all this came, uh, pre-cut it because now all these panels are going to look the same other than the gla glass will be all different colors. So we'll wipe this off a little bit. We'll let you take a look at it. So here's our first panel. It's going to look very nice, considering we're going to have six of these all going around the uh, the unit. So it ought to be uh, give us a nice effect. So anyway, here's one. Here's one we missed right here. So uh, if you if you see one that you've missed, uh, just put a little flux on it, like that. Take your iron. Just come in here and solder it up. So you don't want to put your project together with the, some of the joints not soldered. All right, so I think that's coming out real nice. So we'll go ahead and make up all six of the panels. And when we come back, we'll show you how we're going to put them together. Okay, we're back. As you can see, we've got all six panels done now. 
So we have three here with hangers on them. So uh, they look like this. They have the hanger on it and the edges have all been finished off. So they look nice. They have the little tab on it. That's going to hold our bottom in it. So they came out real nice. And uh, then we have the other three that uh, are just plain. They don't have anything. On. You notice, remember, we didn't solder down these areas right here because when these two go together, they're going to sit on an angle like this and we want them to be real tight here in the middle. So uh, to solder these, we're going to put them on a, a little form or a little jig that I made. If you watch the other uh, hexagon video, uh, you'll see that I made a new form for this one. Uh, here's what it looks like right here. It's a little bit bigger. The other one was so small that uh, I didn't like the way that the uh, panel set in it. So this is it. It has two 30 degree V's on it. it has a little space across the side here that the the you came will sit on when they when they make a nice good V right in this area right here it has two little tabs on it so we'll push the panels right up against these so they'll all be straight when we get ready to do it it just made out of three quarter inch pine and uh, it's uh, it'll it'll hold uh, a, a pretty big uh, panel if we want to use it uh, for a bigger one uh, we're gonna need some flux I'm using this uh, classic 100 gel flux this is a uh, water soluble it doesn't make any kind of a mess has no odor and it doesn't smoke so i like that one the solder we're going to use is a is a 60 40. i usually just cut off a couple of sections of it off the roll rather than hold the whole roll and then we're going to need a tinning brush one of these little guys like this and just a little jar to hold our flux so uh, we'll go offline real quick and set up our jig and then we'll get ready to uh, come back and we'll solder these up and I'll show you how they're going to go together. Okay, we got our jig in place now. So we're going to do, we're going to take one panel that has the hanger on it. It's going to sit right in here like this. And we're going to take one panel that has no hanger on it. And they're going to go in here like this. And what we want to do, we want to be sure they're up against the backstop here so that they sit real nice and straight. And we want to be sure that this makes a nice tight V right through here. Uh, We'll want to be sure that it's uh, tight because we don't want any bleed through on our solder. And we also don't want to have any gaps in it. So when we solder, uh, it'll be nice and shut. If we have gaps in it, the solder will flow through it. And it's not a nice looking job. It'll kind of gob up the works. And uh, then also, uh, the uh, when you light it up at night, you'll have light come through it. So we've got our two first two put in here. We're up against the backstop, so we're going to take our flux. I'm going to run it right down the middle here. Then we're going to take our soldering iron. I always like to be sure we have a good, clean tip on it. I'm just going to take a uh, one of our little sticks of solder that we cut, and I'm just going to put a little bubble of solder on here. I'm going to hold these down nice and tight, and I'm going to just stick this right here. And I'm going to just make a quick spot solder put one more right here and then we're going to put one down here at the end just like that down here at the end here i'm going to solder this shut all the way because that this is the only area that you see that people can people will see in here so I just pull that back all the way like that. Okay, so we're getting ready now. We'll go ahead and put the second set together. So we take one with a hanger and we'll take one without a hanger. And we're gonna set it in here again. Make sure they're nice and straight. You want them to have an equal bead from the V here to the V down here. When you get it where you want it, here again, run your flux by it. Take your iron. I usually have a damp sponge I wipe it off on. Put a little bubble, bubble of solder there. We're going to hold it really, really tight. I'm going to set it right in here. I'm going to quick make a quick spot solder. Come up here to the top. We're going to do the same thing right here. And then we'll go down to the bottom. We'll put one more down to the bottom.
Okay, so now we've got two together. So we're going to take the third one now, and we'll do the same thing. So we'll get it nice and tight here. Put our flux on here. Wipe your soldering iron off quite a bit because you want to be sure that it's nice and tinned and it's not got any residue on it. Okay, we're going to hold this nice and tight again. We're just going to stick this in here real quick. Let it flow away just like that. Hold it here, let it flow in. And we'll put one more at the end here. See if I can do that without getting, without getting in the way. How am I gonna do that? I'll do it like this. Here we go. Come back up here. And I'll just fill this one in here. I think we didn't fill this one in here, this two here. No, we didn't. So we'll take and fill it in while we're got it down flat here. Okay, now what we're gonna do, we're gonna take we've got two, we've got three sets of two. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna set this one here up on our design here. And we're going to make, take another set of two, and we're going to set them in here like this. And they're going to make a set of four now. And we want to be sure we got them nice and tight here. So we don't want to have any gaps in there. Or we don't have any one, and we don't have any solder flowing through into the other side. Make sure it's down nice and tight. Make sure they needed to go down just a little bit. Okay, so we're, now we're going to take and we're going to put some more solder on our iron make a little joint right here I'm gonna reach in here and pinch these together just a little bit so they'll have a nice tight joint if you don't do that when you get it all done then you'll see all the gaps in it and sometimes they're a little bit difficult to uh, to fill up or to repair after that happens Okay, so now we're going to take and we'll fill this one right here in. You don't have to really do that. I like to do it because that, that part is actually the only part that, uh, that people can see. So now what we're going to do, we're going to put this third, this third panel here in. It's going to go in here. It'll go here on an angle. But uh, I'm going to take the camera down and uh, we'll uh, solder that. So we uh, show you can see how we're going to do that. And uh, basically what we're going to do, we're going to take and rotate this one more time. Like that. This panel here will sit in here like this. And we're going to want to be sure that we've got it down here nice and tight. And uh, so I'm not going to solder this one until we move the camera down. But this is what we're looking for right here. See how there's no bleed through here and there's no air gaps? That's how you want that to look. Uh, the other little jig that we used on the other, other uh, hexagon, hexagon uh, solar light was a little short. And instead of having some gap lay coming over here, it, it dropped behind the uh, panels and it made it very walky, uh, uh, wiggly. So I didn't, didn't like that. So we'll move the camera down and then we're going to show you how we're going to do this inside here. Okay, so uh, I got my camera person to hold the camera now. So we're going to put these pieces together right here. We want to be sure they're down in the groove here. We want to go down to the backside and make sure that they're lined up where we want them. And we got all of them up against our backstops here. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to take and we're going to flux this up just a little bit here. We're going to go down inside just like that. And we want to uh, take this with our iron again and we're just going to come through the inside and we're going to just take and we're going to tack solder this right here 
just like that. I'm going to come down just a little bit more in the middle here. Give it one more. And then all the way to the end here, we're going to make sure it's nice and tight together. And we're going to put a solder right there. Okay, so this is the only area that's open now. So now we're going to take and we're going to rotate it one more time. And we're going to get this all pushed together here. Just like that. See how that came together there? Okay, we've got a nice V here. Okay, and we're going to take and we're going to put our flux in here. This one here, I'm going to just take a little bit of solder and put on my iron. And I'm going to take and push down on it here so these are nice and tight. And I'm just going to push this in here like this. Get the solder. Do the same thing in the middle. Put a little piece of, a little bit of solder on here. Push it down. I'm going to come down in the middle here. You want to do this so that you keep that nice and tight. Otherwise, like I said, you'll get the you'll get the an open gap in it. We don't want that. You know, go do that and do the last one way down here. Okay. Now, like I said on the other ones, we close this up down here. So I'm just going to come down here now with my solder, and we're just going to go here and just close that up, just like that. And the one we did previous to that, we didn't we didn't do that, so we're gonna here it goes. I'm gonna find the right one. So we'll come and we'll close that up. Okay, so now we've got it all together. So this is our project. Move our fixture out of the way. And so that's the way it's going to look. So this ought to look very nice all lit up. Remember, we're going to put the three solar lights in the top of it. So we'll go off camera. We're going to take it. We're going to cut a, uh, a top for it to hold our solar lights. We're going to use it, use the, uh, the quilting mat for that. And then on the bottom here, I'm going to cut a mirror that will sit on our three tabs. And uh, then we'll put a chain on it, and the project will be almost done. We're going to go ahead and Pantene this one black like we did the other one. So uh, I'll show you another another way to Pantene with a spray bottle versus we put the other Pantene on on the other video with a, a paintbrush so or a little tinning brush. So we're going to do that a little bit different this time. All right, so we'll be back. Okay, so we got our project all done now. It came together nice. Got nice seams all along here. Uh, in the top here, uh, I ran a couple pieces of H came between the uh, the panels that helps strengthen it. So. Because sometimes when we have so many panels here, they'll want to get out of shape a little bit. So this will keep that from happening. Uh, we're going to put a, a shelf in the top here. The shelf's going to look like this one right here. It'll fit down in here. Our solar lights will sit on top of that. And then in the bottom on here, we're going to put in a we're going to put in a mirror, which is like this one here. We're going to fit it in the bottom. We'll glue it to these tabs right here. But before we do that, we're going to pantene this. And we talked about that before. Uh, the last time we Pantene the other one, uh, we used a little cup and a brush. Today I'm going to just show you another little way to do it. Uh, we're going to use a uh, spray bottle with Pantene in it. And we're going to use a scrub brush. And we're going to work it in. And then we're going to wash it down with uh, uh, soap and water. As cold as water as you can find. We're going to do both sides here. So uh, we'll go inside here and, and clean this up a little bit. But before we Pantene it, we need to go over everything to knock off any oxidation or any oil on our skin and so forth. If we don't do that, uh, you'll have real splotchy uh, Pantene. So I'm going to use a uh, Scotch-Brite pad here. And I'm just going to come in here on the top here. And I'm going to really work this down here. I want it to get real shiny, all my lead. The better job you did do here, the better your Pantene will come out. Uh, what happens is that this scratches the lead up just enough to give it just a little bit of a tooth so that the Pantene can help bite into that. So we'll do all six sides here. Uh, you can see uh, on other YouTube videos, uh, 
people are using all kinds of things to do this with. Uh, uh, Brillo pads, uh, steel wool, all kinds of things to do it with. Uh, the Scotch Brite seems to work pretty good for me, so kind of go with something that works for you. So as we get this all done here, okay, so we'll continue to clean this up with our Scotch Brite. And we're going to pantene the inside of this. The pantene on the inside. Uh, it's not going to look uh, as nice as it does on the outside because it's going to be a little harder to get into it. But uh, I'm going to just take my Scotch Brite and go down inside here and take and rough this up in here just a little bit. If you pantene this before you solder, you'll create kind of a problem trying to get it to solder unless you can stay away from the edges so I'd recommend that you don't do that so we want to get all the areas pantene here get them all worked up here okay so now we're going to just take and we're going to take and lay it down here and we're going to take our little squeeze bottle right here we're just going to take and we're just going to moisten this up with our Pantene, just like that. Then I have a brush here, and I'm going to take and I'm going to brush this on here. Work it in really good. I'm just going to rotate it around. We'll do one more side, and then we'll kind of go offline and do the rest of them. No, it's just watching me do the whole thing here, but this gives you an idea. This brush uh, uh, works really well because it gets into really all the little nooks and crannies. We'll do one more here while we got everybody watching. line here and to get the uh, all the rest of the project done I'll do the inside and then we'll come back and uh, we'll go ahead and finish up the project okay so we've got our project all pantene now so the last thing we want to do to help preserve this is we're going to uh, put a glass uh, wax on it and I just use a, a little spray bottle like this with my glass wax in it just shake it up and just take and just take and spray it on your project just like that and then I take a brush like this and I take and I brush it in to all the little nooks and crannies here and we'll go over and we'll do all six sides of this but for demonstration purposes we'll just show you this top one here and then we'll come back and we'll take in uh, when it's dry I'll show you how to tell when it's dry and then we'll take and we'll get the wax off and we'll go ahead and we'll get it buffed up. So this will just give you an idea. I'll go ahead and go offline and finish up the rest of it and then we'll come back on and uh, show you how, to, how, how you know when it's dry and then we'll go from there. Okay so we're back. We got it all uh, waxed up now. You can tell you can tell when that's done when the wax is dry like this and you can just take and you put your finger on it here. So now what I'm going to do with it, I'm going to take a brush, just a regular brush like this, and I'm going to brush this, brush it down. If you notice, see everything's getting shiny. 
get into all the nooks and crannies there. Shine up your pantene real pretty. Just rotate it around. We go over all six sides. So I'll go off camera real quick and I'll finish up these other sides here. I just want to show you how we're going to do that. And then we'll come back and we'll show you the finishing touches to it. All right, we've got it all shined up with our wax and everything. I'm going to take a, a little fiber cloth here and just go over everything real quick here. This will help shine everything up. Just roll it over here. So the wax gives everything a nice little shine to it, the Pantene. It also will help uh, preserve the Pantene so it'll stay nice and dark the, all the time. I'm going to just go inside here real quick and just kind of go over this a little bit. It's easy to do this before we, before we put the bottom on. If you put the bottom on, then you got to do it all through the top, so that makes it a little bit easier. So one last little trick. A lot of times when you wax, in the little corners here, things get in there that you can't get out with the brush or you can't get out with your, with your, with your cloth. So if you've got an old toothbrush like this one, electric toothbrush you're going to throw away, take that and just turn it on and go right in the corners here with it and just go around each each little piece of glass real quick and you can go ahead and you can get this all cleaned up real fast that'll get any little wax out of the area so that's a little trick you might keep in the back of your mind if you have problems with the wax getting built up in the corners. So I'm going to go over all six sides and then we'll come back and uh, we'll put the bottom in it and put the top in it and then we'll go ahead and we'll light it out. Okay we're back we're ready to finish up our project. Uh, in some of my previous videos uh, in the for the for the bottom down here I put a mirror in here and uh, to my surprise I found out by using a piece of white opaque glass that I actually got a better illumination overall. So if you've made one of my other ones and did put a mirror in the bottom, maybe pop it out and uh, cut one out of a piece of uh, white opaque glass and uh, put it in the bottom. So we're going to put uh, the white one in here. I pre-fit this so I've marked where the uh, tabs are. Uh, these are the tabs that we put on when we made the panels. So I'm going to just take a little bit of silicon glue here. And I'm just going to put a little dab on here and we'll just glue it right in here. And we're going to just set it, I'll move this forward here just a little bit so we can take a look at it. We're just going to set it inside. I'm going to reach around from in here, pull it forward. And just lift up on it and let it drop right in place. Okay, we put our hand down in here. We can adjust it or move it around to where we want it. Make sure it's pushed down nice and tight on our little tabs. I've already installed the chain here. You can see the chain. So now the next step is going to be, we've got the bottom in there. Next step we're going to be, we're going to put our plate in here to hold our solar lights. This is the plate. This is made out of that uh, cutting board for the quilt the quilters use for cutting their uh, fabric. Uh, it's an old used one. It's got lots of little lines on it, which doesn't bother what we're doing. It's kind of a rubberized plastic. It uh, holds up really well. Just take a hole saw and mark where I want to uh, uh, have our lights go through, and it just will sit in here like this. And then we'll have our three 
solar panels that'll fit in here just like this. So like we've done in the other videos, we'll take this uh, into the uh, laundry room and we'll take and uh, turn the light out, which will make the solar lights think that it's uh, gone uh, dark and uh, we'll light this up and we'll show you what this one's going to look like. So we'll be right back. We'll get set up in the laundry room. Okay, here it goes. Uh, we got it all cleaned up and hung in the daylight. Here's what it's going to look like at nighttime when it comes on. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, we'll see you on the next one.